Hey guys, welcome back to Kumasau Reviews. What we're taking a look at is Sentinel, their Metamorph Force, Black Wing. This accomplice to Dan Kuga measures in at just under 6 inches tall, does feature both die-cast and plastic parts, and overall it's a fun figure. The cool part about this review is it also puts me one step closer to actually reviewing Dan Kuga, which I get asked about almost on a daily basis. It's just one of those things to where I really want to do well and, yeah, haven't had the time to really space it out. But anyway, backpack, hands, as well as a clip to make it attached to both the stand and Dan Kuga. Top down, bottom up. One thing to be said, I forgot to add in the stand that it comes with, the standard signal stand. All right, and here he is next to Dan Kuga. See? Awesome pair. They just look good together. I like the way they display. I'm just going over the posability and stuff like that here. Now with this piece, I definitely think that it's an awesome toy. Good posability. Reminds me of a figure arts robot Damashi. One of those kinds of deals in terms of its size, posability, things like that. Definitely a solid piece. Would I buy it on its own though? Probably not. At the price of like $150 on its own, you know, it's nice, but I just don't see it for that to display on its own. With Dan Kuga and as a backpack form, most definitely. Now we're taking a look at that backpack. Definitely good stuff. And even though this figure itself, it's not crazy huge, the wings expand to about 12 inches wide, so definitely gives it some size there. Now just one thing to watch out for, it does get a little bit back heavy when you put that backpack on, so you know, don't fling it around or anything like that. Kind of watch it when you place the backpack on, because it is going to make the ab section want to snap back a little bit. You don't want that to break. And it is a ball jointed waist, so by all means just add some nail polish or something like that. I do the same, it pops off pretty easy, but I play it, display it as a backpack most of the time, so it's not that big of a deal to me. We're just taking a look at one of the alternate hands here. Comes with two open hands and then two fists with that are like open fist. Like he has a weapon to hold or anything, but there's no weapon, so I, I don't get it personally. Kind of could have just came with the open hands and that was it. It would have been fine. Different view, a little bit of flight action there. I really like the design of this thing. I like the colors. It's just a nicely done piece. It's a roundabout of that falcon mode there. And it's a nice clean all. It's another one of those deals to where, you know, I've got Dan Kuga and Mazenkaiser on a Detolf, but before that, you know, just space-wise, I had this in Falcon Mode and Dan Kuga next to it, and they look great. They just make a great display together. I dig it. Give you more of a bottom view here. And of course, as per usual, bump this thing up, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Looks a lot better. I gotta admit, I was impressed once I made that change. New equipment for the win. Now weight-wise, this is about a half pound. I think it's at 0.4 on the scale there. And there he goes in alt mode. Or actually backpack mode, one of his alt modes. All right, Give you a roundabout. And overall, good stuff. I, I enjoy it. I think it looks good next to Dan Kuka. 
as a backpack for Dan Kuka. You really can't lose with this piece. Like I said, I wouldn't buy it on its own, but as a complimentary, it is absolutely fantastic. Now, this is long since sold out. I bought mine, Ami Ami. I don't know why I just measured it again. We already got the wingspan earlier, but 12 inches again. Full review, pictorial, written, and pictures, and all that stuff. Kumastella.com, link will be in the description. Thank you guys for watching. Check out my stuff. My info's on the side there. Subscribe. See you next review.